Yo, hey, what's up, guys? Um, I'm gonna show you my new team for um, Brutal or Hard. I cannot decide right now. I will probably maybe do Hard and do on Brutal my battle key or something like that. But you can decide for yourself. But we will show it off on Brutal so we can actually show it. But I always, always also want to mention that I usually do on Nightmare my full unkillable, no RNG team and that's really really nice, you never get eaten and stuff, you, you should really should check out that video and but today we're gonna talk about that team right here but it's more about the core the core is Red Red Nia, Shamael and Ambassador Shamael they will create a taunt loop where you never get eaten and that is basically the thing we want and the rest of your team is up to your imagination on the end. If you do basically a nightmare run, for example, and you need a little bit yeah, more tankiness, of course, across your board, more healing, less, you know what I mean, it's gonna be harder. If you go on hard, you need less tankiness and stuff. So you might can bring other DPS champions, just, um, just raw, basic hitting DPSs instead of a burn or something. On the end, it's up to you. But I will show you off that that team right here is really working and about the preset and stuff. I don't think we have to talk about it. We will go straight into the run and I'm going to showcase it off how that works and what's the thing about it and stuff like that. Because it is a really great team. We got a right right near in lifesteal set. I got that information from Seth from HH Gaming, a really great guy. Check out his content. He always delivers. And I put her in lifesteal, so every time she's gonna attack, she's gonna heal the, the team a little bit. So healage in this team is kind of covered with Ugo, Ambassador and White Dried Neo. They deliver a bunch of healing and he's just gonna do his HP <coughs> burns and stuff. He does the block buffs. Yeah, we got kind of lucky, refresh and um, thingy together, but that doesn't matter. It's just how I build them and maybe you want to do it like that, maybe not. Krisk is there for the provoke and of course protection and stuff, but on the end we are on brutal, maybe you go on night, uh, you go on hard or maybe normal, whatever you want to do and have a great time over there, just do it like you want to do it and no stress because the basic thing about this is even if you get eaten at some point or something goes wrong and at some point one of your champion gets eaten, you just have to bring him out for once. So basically, you're not in the stress of a normal run when you just get eaten by, by, the, by the head and then the poison cloud goes out there and then he gets a shield and you cannot free up your champion. And we want to kind of avoid that. So basically, we never get eaten. But if that happens, for some reason, I don't know, it is just about surviving. We even could do the Geomancer thingy right now. We could put the Geomancer in here, never kill a boss, uh, never kill a head, just aim for some heads, make our team um, survivable. And it's basically the same like uh, the unkillable uh, Geomancer with Emic team. But of course you need more stats. And that's basically the whole thing. My Shamael right now is in full damage gear. I probably should um, build that in a different way and maybe I should just use the Geomancer strategy but yeah this one that's the negative it is on manual on the end you cannot just do it on, on semi-auto and something because you have to aim your stuff because right right Nia needs to aim for um, ambassador it is that skill and she also needs to do it on, on herself all the time but the, the base core is you use your taunt on herself and she needs to be 50% slower than White Dried Nia. And I got that information with, from Ray Dodigy, a really nice guy. And I made like, um, um, what's it called? <laughs> a co collaboration with him, we talked about it, but go ahead and check out his video about, he did basically kind of the same with um, White Dried Nia and a Ruark. And it, it's basically the same, but I just made it for my own, um, yeah, for my own for my own goods, and the base of it is just use taunt on ambassador in this case because we you can use a Uruk, yes of course if you got one just use him it's better and she will just use the taunt on herself right right near is gonna reset ambassador and that's what we're gonna do over and over and basically 
just kill the boss on the end. Maybe you got better DPSs than I, because I don't have the best ones in the world. I think my best one is the rabbit on hard, and that's basically it. And the rest of it is, yeah, not that great. But of course, in this case right here, you need to bring um, provoke, if you block buffs, if you can bring all that, it's good for you. But it is kind of hard to bring them all. But what I saw for myself is with, when you don't bring block buffs, no, no, block buffs is kind of, yeah, you, you should bring it. It's not the, the hardest in the world if you don't have it and yeah, just your damage will fall off because we never get eaten. So what they do is kind of unnecessary for us because we will just stand there and just face whatever they bring. If we can survive, everything is good. You can bring whatever you, you feel like, to be honest. And she's just gonna do her Iwine. And I'm gonna do a full one now maybe i'm gonna um rebuild my shama l a little more tanky so i can do it or maybe just one or two changes on the end but i will give you a result and yeah we will see how that ends and if we can reach 1500 turns i'm pretty sure i can but it will take usually a little bit longer because it's a full manual but i give you one run when i end it and this will be my team for the the rest of the the rotation I guess for if if I don't get something better I will do that and yeah see you in a second oh yeah um, one thing I want to mention is that I can actually bring better champions in here but they're already in my other um, teams so I'm kind of limited but yeah I could do the same with Emic and stuff but this is just my third team and I think it's a team you probably haven't seen before so I will just share it so yeah let's go to the end of the, the run
So, alright, let's talk about stats, because yeah, they are important. And keep in mind, I would probably, in a perfect world, build them a little bit different if I had all the resources in the world to just do it. But at this point, I'm just gonna, yeah, show you what I have used, but in the future that will be changed a little bit. And also, I won't show you the preset, but it was, yeah, full manual right now. But I also see something how to kind of semi-auto it and stuff and I probably will do another video about that because yeah I have to test it first and stuff but there are good good um, points in the future where it might be possible to just do it and yeah my art tag is just in a yeah normal ice golem kind of solo kind of thingy um, regeneration set and what's that called um, Defliant and yeah, that's kind of it and of course I want to show you the masteries He's kind of speedy not too speedy right now or he's not even over 250 But he will gain speed and will be tanky and will be he can survive on his own so It shouldn't be a problem at all But maybe I would like give him war master if I go hydra only or something and yeah of course and he got a blessing five star ble um, brimstone that's cool but not the greatest in the world because he does aoe all the time and yeah you cannot control it so but if it hits it hits it's cool so whatever so crisk and yeah you might think for yourself i don't have a crisk and like i mentioned i probably would use other champions in there but they're already used and in my head a perfect um Filler spot, more kind of free to play, would be Vizix. I would use her, she got Provoke, Decrease Speed, Ally Protection, and basically she she's kind of doing the same thing that the Crisp does if you can just build her. And but we will take a look at him. Those are the stats. Oh wait, I gotta press Hydra all the time. <coughs> so Hydra. And those are the stats on him. I'm gonna re do Artak in a second. Those are the masteries and I got Lightning Cage on him just to make him sometimes the mischief target but the mischief target will most of the time will be in your ambassador and maybe if you're unlucky your, your taunt will get stolen but if that happens it's not the end of the world you can just recover and stuff like that but yeah she will be the mischief tank and yeah Crisk will be sometimes the mischief tank. And I gotta show you the Artak again because it was not aimed on Hydra. Let's go on Hydra. All good. Yeah, of course it was a little bit just a second, but please pause the uh, pause the video for a second and yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> and yeah, Ugo. He's in relentless gear and my Crisk was in the hex gear, but Probably in that kind of scenario what we're doing right now hex isn't the best so you can just use perception or whatever and Yeah, um Wait Hydra All right, those are the stats All of them are kind of speedy, but not too speedy. So it's not like 300 or something and we got a Blessing right there, but it's not that important and those are the masteries I have chosen. I see I don't even have a what's it called tier six mastery. So yeah, but it worked. So whatever. Shamael right now is built more tanky because I needed it to, and he cannot survive if he's just in damage set. And sadly, but that's just how it is. And we got cruelty right there. And some masteries right there giant slayer i totally recommend giant slayer because yeah obviously he's hitting a ton ton of times so yeah <laughs> ambassador the the queen of the show wait no <laughs> and yeah we got kind of a weird setup right now it's kind of relent I, I aimed for relentless too but i couldn't get it to work so i put her in guardian set because she will get healed all the time from near and she soaks up some damage over there and then gets healed by Nia again and we got kind of plenty of heals in here so it's not the worst case to have guardian sets but yeah um 
don't do it on on Nia. Maybe okay, maybe you can, whatever. But I used lifesteal set so she can overheal herself or heal herself and give some of her heal to the entire team by that passive right here. And yeah, but let's go ambassador. We have guardian set and we do have stats like that. We do have masteries like that because she needs to be resistance, like really slow and a bunch of resistance. And that's why I give her, gave her the resistance mastery. And also, is there any more to talk about? Yeah, I miracle here, but yeah, I kind of just took something. And right, right near. And well, the stats. So about white knight, white right near and ambassador. I maybe said it in the beginning a little bit wrong. You know what? <laughs> Just make your white right near over to because your manual anyway. So make your your white right, right near over 260 to 70, and make your ambassador like 140, and you should be good. Even if you go 150, you should be still okay. <laughs> So wait, did I show you? Yeah, it's Hydra. So, Masteries, yeah. And the thing about her, yeah, lifesteal, and then she's overheal her, like not overheal, but she's gonna pass 20% of her heal to the uh, to the whole entire team. So that's really nice to have lifesteal in here. And yeah, um, blessing, there is no blessing. And I think there was everything. Yes, there was everything. So we can, Clearly see it is working. I will give you another, probably another team that will go semi-auto where you just have to click, sometimes click, click and then auto for, for time and then click, click and everything should be a little bit more easy. That's what I'm aiming personally for myself. So I can just be eh, more relaxed while doing it because yeah, manual, it does, it takes long, but it's worth for your um, clan to actually do some damage what you can so and i personally cannot do the best damage in the world because at some point i don't have the best champions i don't have a trunda i don't have really good hitters so i need to take it more slowly but i want good damage out of it and i can't bring it i don't have a necmo i don't have stuff like that for my third team so i use that one to get 100 million for brutal and it's really nice and i will do it in the future and i hope maybe you got something out of it and maybe you got some ideas and maybe you will also show me your results on the end if you tried something out like hey bronco i tried brogni and he was amazing and stuff like that or he sucked ass <laughs> you know what i mean and just come around hang out in the discord let me know what what's happening and yeah that will be the end of the video I hope I see you in the next one. And yeah, have a nice day.